The best UK investing app 2023. Today we're gonna to take a look and see which is the best UK investing app out there. So if you are a new investor, make sure that you start investing with the best app out there. And even if you're not a new investor, if you're an experienced investor, are you currently still using the best available app out there right now? So hopefully this is useful if you're starting to invest or if you've been investing for a while and you just wanna make sure you're still using the best app out there. Now today I'm gonna to make sure that I don't waste any of your time. I'm not gonna talk about a certain app for five minutes and then after that five minutes turn around and say even though I've just spent all that time talking about that app for five minutes it's actually a terrible app don't use it if it's a bad app I'll make sure I say straight away this is why I would not use it or if it's a good app I'm going to tell you straight away why I think it's a good app so hopefully this video is useful let's get started now very quickly these are the basics that I'm looking at these apps I'm looking at are for long-term investing I also want to make sure that these apps I'm using are safe I don't want to be using an app that is a unregulated app where I am worrying if that is still going to be a broker that's going to be operating the next day so we are looking for them to be FCA registered the next important thing that I'm looking for in all these apps is for them to offer an ISA especially with what the government has changed in the last few months is that the capital gains tax is massively getting reduced. So if you are investing for the long term, you wanna be making sure you are using ICES to protect your capital from tax if you make any profit. So we are making sure most of these brokers are offering ICES. The next thing is we wanna make sure the fees are very low. We do not want to be paying expensive fees for buying and selling in investments because obviously that is more capital that we want to be keeping and using our own money to buy investments not to be paying the broker so we are looking for as low fee as possible and the next thing is to make sure they have good stock selections or they're not hiding any stocks behind paywalls so we want to have good access to many index funds etfs and also individual stocks so let's get stuck into some of these biggest investing apps that are out there number one free trade free trade for me is probably an eight out of ten and it's probably going to be the second best on this list it is fca registered and you can get an isa on free trade now the problem with the isa is that it is behind a paywall it used to be three pound a month it is now five pound a month so for a full year you'll be paying 60 pound to get access to the isa which is the only little bit of a negative the fees to actually buy and sell stocks are very low but the only other issue is that they do hide quite a few stocks behind a paywall so it's a pretty good platform with quite low fees the only problem is to get to the ISA and to quite a lot of stocks it's hidden behind a paywall so this is one that you might consider but it's not my favorite on the list the next one is HL or Hargreaves Lansdowne now this is a very well recognized stockbroker obviously one thing they massively pride themselves on is customer service and if this was a review for which broker has the best customer service it would be Hargreaves Lansdowne however there's more to a stockbroker than just that and that's where it gets a little bit negative for Hargreaves Lansdowne unfortunately this is the most pricey stockbroker on the list and if you want to buy or sell stocks with Hargreaves Lansdowne you are looking at buying and selling stocks per trade £11.95 now obviously if you're buying and selling stocks every time for £11.95 that is massively going to add up throughout a year and a lot of your hard earned cash even if you're an investor that's just getting started with a couple of pound or even if you're an investor that's investing thousands you're still going to notice a £11.95 per trade cost so even though it's a great brand and it's a very well-established custom service that you will get there you are definitely paying the premium for that price and for me in this day and age paying £11.95 per trade is still way too much the next one is stake so this is a company that recently expanded to the UK I think they started offering the services in the UK around about two years ago and I'm not gonna lie the platform is actually very good they have quite a good selection of stocks and it's also a very low cost to buy and sell stocks on the state platform there is a little bit of a fee if you want to withdraw money or if you want to deposit money that is only the negative but the biggest thing that's letting this platform down is it doesn't currently offer an ISA and we said at the start of the video one thing that we want to be using is ISAs for our investing platforms I think if the stake was to add an ISA which unfortunately last time I checked they don't have any plans to do that if it did have an ISA option then this would actually probably be my second favorite on this list even potentially my favorite on this list but because we've got no ISA with stake I'm going to have to rule this one out but apart from that it's actually a very good platform to be using 
The next one is AJ Bell. Once again, a very well recognized brand. The problem with this one though is that you do pay the premium for buying and selling stocks. You are looking somewhere between £1.50 to £9.95 if you are looking to buy and sell index funds, ETFs or individual stocks on AJ Bell. And I just think that in this day and age, there's a lot of brokers that will be able to offer that for a lot cheaper. And I don't think you should be paying that for investing at the moment. So it's an avoid for me. And the next one is Vanguard. Obviously a very well established brand. And obviously these guys are not focused on individual stocks. They're more focused on their own funds. Now the problem with Vanguard is that obviously you can't buy individual stocks on here, but the fees are pretty reasonable. I do think if you are focusing on ETFs though, there is an actual better platform for this. But for me, because you cannot buy individual stocks on Vanguard at the moment, it's not the one for me. However, it is still a pretty good platform, but I think just because of the variety of stocks they offer, I have to say no to this one. And onto one of the new kids on the block, which is Invest Engine. These guys are actually doing really impressive things. You can get an ISA on this platform, but same again, it's more focused around ETFs and you actually can buy some of the Vanguard funds on Invest Engine for cheaper than what you can on Vanguard, believe it or not, for the management fees. So Invest Engine is something I would consider if I was not bothered about individual stocks, but because we want to have a good variety of stocks, for me, Invest Engine is not the one. The next one is DeGiro. Now, DeGiro is actually the first stock broker I personally started using in 2016. Unfortunately, since 2016, they haven't made as much progress as other stock brokers, so they still currently don't offer an ISA, so unfortunately, I have to say that this is one not to use. And the fees are still a little bit more expensive. If you wanted to buy US stocks, it's gonna cost you one euro. If you wanted to buy UK stocks, it's gonna cost you around £2.75. So the fees are still a little bit slightly high and they've not actually brought these down. So for me, DeGiro is actually a very good platform. The only problem is, is that they still don't offer ISAs and the fees haven't really been reduced. So unfortunately that's fallen down the pecking order a fair bit now. And the next one is eToro. eToro is not too bad of a platform. The fees are pretty low. And there is a really cool feature on there, which is the copy trader, where you are able to copy other investors on there so you can see what their track record is in the last few years you can see what their portfolio is and you can actually invest your money and they manage that for you which is a really cool feature but the problem the biggest problem with eToro why it's not off this list is it currently has no ISA and that leaves us with the last one on this list which in my opinion is currently the best UK stock investing app out there which is Trading212. And personally for me, it is the one that I currently use as well. And it's the platform that I've personally been using for the last two or three years. It's a very safe platform. It is registered by the FCA. It currently does offer an ISA and the ISA is free to access compared to something like a free trade where you have to pay five pounds to get access to the ISA. It is low fee, you do have to pay some FX fees, which is very low, but the actual to place the trade is free. And on this list, it offers a very good stock selection as well. I would say it's probably one of, or if not the best, out of all these stock investing apps that we've just reviewed, it has the biggest selection of stocks out there and it's rapidly adding a lot of stocks to the platform and it also does not hide any stocks behind a paywall as well. There's also some new features that are getting added all the time with the stock pie, but for an investing platform, especially for beginners, a very easy platform to get used to, to buying and selling stocks on. And personally for me, I think this is the best investing platform going into 2023. And for me, what investing platform am I gonna be using in 2023? It is gonna be trading two and two. So at the moment, that is my opinion on the best investing platform out there. So I hope that was useful looking at who are the best investing platforms out there going into 2023 and who I'm personally going to be using. If you do want to join Trading212, I actually have a link in the description. If you join through that link, you'll actually get a free share when you join and sign up. So if you do want to do that, maybe use that link. But I hope you enjoyed the little quick recap, guys. And I hope I didn't waste too much time talking about the stock brokers that I didn't think were the good platforms. So if you could, smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit.